About eight or nine years ago, a buddy and I set up a table on the streets of New York City, along with a sign that said, believe in God, we can fix that, and a bunch of bottled water, and spent our Saturday afternoon arguing with theists. Ah, to be young and have that kind of free time again. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. None of those conversations we had were great. I'd say half the people who stopped to talk to us just wanted to tell us to fuck ourselves, and the other half was firmly divided between people who wanted to tell us about the microchips in their blood and folks who were actually interested in having a conversation. You know, the atheist curious, the formerly religious, the bored, the lonely, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And like I said, none of the conversations went particularly well, but there was a moment in one of them that stays with me. This group of teenage girls were waiting for their friends, some school group, and we had free bottled water and empty chairs, so they sat with us to have a chat. And the leader of the group was that kind of confident believer that only a teenager can be, and was entirely taken aback by the fact that we didn't take out a fetus and stick it with a straw like a Capri's son during the conversation. I mean, not only did she not understand the atheist viewpoint, she actively thought we were lying when we told her that we didn't believe in Satan. And, you know, look, she was a teenager, right? She's putting on a show for her friends. It didn't matter that none of her gotchas worked. She was working the crowd, which is fine. But there was one girl in the group who was different. She wasn't really laughing at the jokes her friend told. And you could tell she was actually listening when we answered the questions that her friends asked. And when the cool kids got bored and wandered away with their free bottled water, she hung back. And she asked my buddy entirely seriously, so you really believe nothing happens when you die? And his response is what sticks with me all these years later. He said, yeah, but if it makes you feel any better, nothing's going to happen when you die either. And that's the thing, right? The religious and even some atheists think that death is this big gotcha that religion has in their back pocket. Right? Atheism has an obvious secular answer to everything religion does. Uh, you like the communal feeling of church? Join a charity or an organization. Hell, play Vampire the Masquerade. You still get to pretend you have magic powers, and maybe someone will fuck you. Want to wonder at God's creation? Look no further than the legions of nerds who will show you the real, examinable beauty of the known universe. Want to talk about big ideas? Sign up for a philosophy class, now with more than one answer. But when it comes to death... It seems like atheism has nothing to offer. There is no atheist version of playing harps with grandma in the clouds, but the point that my buddy was making all those years ago and that I think we overlook at our peril is there's no religious version of that either, right? The reason religion has an answer about the afterlife is because they're willing to lie and religion gives up a tremendous amount of real things for that lie. I mean, take grief, for example. If you've ever been to a religious funeral, the entire thing is this weird-ass doublespeak. And yes, we will miss Dave, but we are comforted in the knowledge that he is not dead, simply ignoring us and happier than he's ever been or ever will be to be torn from his wife and children by that bus that ran over his head. Yes, I know you miss your child, but I'd like to remind you he's in a better place, by which I mean not with you and where you'll never get to see him for the rest of your life. I mean, that shit would make a kidnapper queasy. That's not grief. That's taxpayer-funded denial. And yet, society pretends that's the better fucking answer. So, yes, when I die, all evidence points to the fact that my consciousness, the illusion that I have of the rider behind my eyes, will cease to exist. Just like before I was born and every time I go to sleep. But I will leave behind friends and family that I have adored with my entire heart. Students I have done my best to inspire. And of course, you, whom I have tried very hard to amuse for this little hour upon the stage, as it were. But no, I will not go to heaven. I will not chat literature with the bard. And I will not see the loved ones that I have lost. But hey, if it makes you feel any better, neither will anyone else.